Now, what you're want to, what you're gonna want to do is, um, of course, uh, first put your SD card in the Wii. <laughs> there we go. And that's an awesome game right there. Uh, all right. Now, what you're gonna do, if you're on 4.2, you're gonna go to the SD card menu. It's going to be the exact same thing that's going to happen, but uh, because I'm on 4.0, I'm not upgrading. Who would do that anyway? <laughs> um, I'm going to do it the uh, old-fashioned way. So you're going to go to the Wii options, then data management, channels, and SD card. You should see banner bomb over here. It's gonna pop up asking you if you're gonna want to load the boot dot doll slash elf. If you paid, you were scammed. All right, it's uh, gonna load up banner bomb or not banner bomb, whatever you have on the rid of your SD card named boot dot doll slash boot dot elf. Um, in this case, we have the hack me installer. All right, uh, it's gonna show the screen. For some reason, they have the time to. Uh, read this very very long so just wait for that to pop up the one so press one to continue now this screen is going to show you what you can install on your Wii in my case because it's already completely hacked um, I can install everything I'm going to continue then you scroll up here install the homebrew channel I'm going to press A both twice both times. Success. Press A to continue. Install DVDX. Yes, continue. Continue. And then with Boot Me, this one's going to be a bit different. Uh, you can either install it as an iOS or Boot 2. iOS, um, not quite sure what's better about that. Uh, boot 2, this is the much safer one this one you can back up your Wii from and then if your Wii gets bricked or something from something that you did not my fault um, you can boot into boot me from preload from preloader which we're gonna go over later um, you can boot to boot me from there and then uh, use the backup of your of your Wii to uh, Restore your Wii to working state. So we're gonna install Boot Me's Boot 2. Boot Me install requires an SD card. Blah 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 blah. 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 Okay. And installs Boot 2. This one takes a bit more time. Here and here we go. Success. Continue. And we're gonna return to the main menu and exit. Now it should take you to the Homebrew channel. Now what we're going to do is install Preloader. Oops, wait. Press 2 to go to this much easier to see one. And uh, find Preloader. It's probably at the end because it has no real file thing. That gives it a name. Let's find it here. Nope. 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 Uh, here we go. Okay, it's just a um, disclaimer. Uh, you can read it if you want, but I'm not going to read it because uh, I really don't care that much and I already have it installed. So press plus to install. Minus is to remove if you already have it. I already have preload preloader on my system, so it's just going to uh, skip it. Blah, blah, blah. Now you have um, boot me and preloader installed on your system. So now what you're going to do is um, you're going to press the home button, launch boot me. Now here, you're going to either need a GameCube controller, or if you don't have one, you can press power to um, shuffle through the menus, and then reset to uh, select what you want. Now you're going to go to the gears, which is options, and then this one, which shows a green arrow going towards the SD card from the NAND. 
Um, I already have my backup on my SD card, but I'll show you anyway. I can just speed up the video so that you don't have to be bored watching it. So here we go. A. Okay, um, now, uh, yeah, it's, uh, been backed up and verified. Uh, if it did anything else, um, just comment in, uh, the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Um, so now that backup is on your SD card, feel free to, uh, stay in both stay and boot me or uh, go to uh, the homebrew channel or the Wii menu or something so yeah oh and by the way the Wii remote can't connect in boot me so don't be all panicky and stuff if you uh, don't know why because I, uh, no one knows why it can't connect so um, there you go your Wii is now hacked with preloader and um, boot me and the homebrew channel now if you want to uh, load um, preloader you have to hold reset so I'm gonna do that now alright now, unlike Boot Me, um, Preloader is just a bit more uh, booted than Boot Me, and um, in this, that's um, the Preloader settings. I would suggest using the System Menu iOS and the System Menu hacks. I'm going to show you how to get those. So, back over to the computer.